Um, I'd like to dedicate my performance uh, to my wife's father, uh, Wallace Damon Thomas, who served in the Korean and uh, Second World War in the Navy. My father, John Hollow, who, uh, who served in the Navy in the Philippines as a gunnery instructor and a tail gunner in a Navy bomber. The uh, former owner of this drum, my first drum instructor, Joe Biasi, who was also a, uh, a Navy man after the Second World War. And uh, he actually wrote this drum to me before he passed away, so it's very special to me, that's why I'm using it. Um, and Eric Perlo, who I'm sure a lot of you have heard of, right, exactly, uh, probably my most um, influential instructor, he was a bombardier in the Army Air Corps during the, uh, the Second World War. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one of the things that uh, Mr. Perlow had encouraged us to do as uh, drummers to practice, breaking down a long roll and maintaining the volume level and then coming out of it. But I also learned a couple of years ago that if you open the, the space between the grace note and the primary stroke of a flam within a, a, a Swiss Army triplet, you get double strokes also. So I'm gonna start with double strokes, get into the Swiss Army triplet, come out of it, complete the, uh, the double stroke roll, and then I'm gonna play a real short solo that Mr. Perola wrote for the New York Skyliners back in the 1960s. Old school, um, rudimental drumming, it just feels good to play. Mark Hull.